Tunes, it's the one and only Optibottom is coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers The Last Night Remote Control Autobot Squeaks. For the package, you got that really nice Transformers text along the side with the Last Night logo right down here on the bottom. And then you got an image of kind of like his body on the package, and then you got a nice open window that showcases his head, which kind of makes it look like a nice blend between the package art and the actual product. That's kind of cool. Obviously, you see his little remote control. You got a couple things right here. And then it says that it requires six AA batteries, which are not included. On the top of the box, you got a really cool image of Squeaks and his giant gun. On this side here, you got another image of him. And it also shows uh, his little remote control mode, dance mode, and a blaster mode. On the opposite side of the package, you got a little bit of a read-up. It says Autobot Squeaks is the smallest among his fellow bots, but his spark shines just as bright. He's not one for a lot of words, but prefers to speak with action. Despite being in disrepair, he perseveres and holds his loyalty to helping all living beings as his primary motivation. This tiny bot is the embodiment of more than meets the eye. And then when you come around to the back of the package, you got images of him, how he can move around. You got the little remote control. Again, like I said, robot mode, dance mode, and then blast mode in his eyes light up red and he says chihuahua because that's what he said in the movie but uh, for the packaging on this guy let's see is there anything about not nothing really down there but uh, the packaging on this guy that's about it you can see that his uh, helmet seems to move which is kind of funny but as i said for the packaging that's about it so without further ado let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is all right, guys, so here we have Squeaks open up and out of his packaging. And first and foremost, he does come with some instructions. Uh, I do recommend going over it, although there, there are some interesting things on here that don't really make much sense. Uh, it shows you how to actually interact with them, how to kind of control them. Uh, there's some tips over here. It says, for best performance, aim the controller directly at Squeaks. That's something that I did notice. It doesn't work very well when the controller is not pointing in his direction. Uh, make sure that the controller is less than 10 feet away, so this isn't a very wide range toy to kind of play with uh, it uses an infrared frequency so sunlight and some indoor lights may interfere with the communication I don't know how well my lights are going to interfere with it but we'll see uh, it's recommended for indoor use only and to keep it away from dirt and water obviously because it's electronic and you don't want to mess things up uh, it shows you how to install the batteries as I said it does require six four that go in the actual figure and then two that go in the remote control and then it shows his on and off thing now this is weird because it seems to turn them on but it doesn't really turn them off what you do is you flip them upside down and then you put them back and I've discovered that to turn them off he needs to just be inactive for three minutes there's not actually an on and off switch that you can really get to other than that flipping thing but I'll show that off here uh, and then also he's got his blaster arm which plugs into his actual arm which does activate his uh, battery section or his uh, uh, battle section I guess so you do have that now I guess you don't need to go through them because I just went through them all uh, so he does come with his big giant gun nothing really overly spectacular about it it is massive it is big as you can see it's just about as big as he is i mean it's a huge gun nice mold of detail you can see some bullets and all the various things you got a few paint applications such as white here on the tips of each of these little bullet barrel thingies and then some blue as well it plugs into his hand and then it has an actual switch that pushes right on the inside of his hand that like i said activates his uh, gun blasting thing he also has his remote control which has some pretty nice textural detail on there you can see some nice sculpting and everything you got an autobot logo sculpted in there with some red paint um nothing again overly spectacular about it one thing that i do like is that he does go forward and back and goes left and right as opposed to one controller that, that you then have to make go back and then forward and some remote control things are really sketchy with that i don't like that and then for Squeaks himself, um, fairly large, as you can see. I, I, I really do like it. It's got a good heft to it. Uh, there is some nice sculpted detail in here, but some of the paint gets a little bit sloppy. I mean, it's meant to look like rest, but I, I, th I think I said this on the review of the Deluxe one. It just comes across as looking like poop. To be totally honest, I mean, there is some nice textural detail kind of through here where it looks like it's rusted. Maybe Takara would come out with a better painted one. Uh, I, I, I don't know if, if they're going to uh, utilize this whatsoever, but you can see a, a little bit of that like roughness kind of through there, which 
in addition to the uh, the rust coloring, does give a good illusion. Uh, but some of it is like sporadic. Like for example, oh no, I think I just turned them on. Uh, that's it's going to be very annoying. Uh, but you can see like some textural detail right here, but it's just painted blue, so it messes up. And there he goes. Yeah, I did turn them on. So that's uh, going to give away a lot. But you you can also see that he does have this big giant. <laughs> Yeah, it's just going to keep going. Uh, big, giant kind of muscular arm here. It is articulated. You can hear heavy-duty ratchet joint right there. But all it's going to be able to do is go there and there. That's really it, unfortunately. This little tiny arm can rotate. This little piece here is a softer rubber that does kind of feel like it rotates, but then it stops. So I'm not going to force it. But you got some obvious little bike bits right there. Uh, it doesn't transform obviously uh, which is perfectly fine because he never transformed in the film but it, it, it looks pretty good i like it I, I like the big giant gouges that are in there uh, you do have that here with his helmet but as you can see it is just black paint on the inside giving an illusion of being broken in like some shadowness there uh, kind of wish that they did with the helmet like they did down here in terms of like breaking some of those actual pieces out that probably would have looked a little bit better but uh, some nice silver detail you got some right there there's the actual like sensor for the remote control thing uh, and as you can see he's got light up eyes um, and he moves by himself but you got some nice really bright light uh, eyes coming through here they're LEDs from what I can see and one thing that I, I don't know how we're gonna be able to see I mean it kind of looks like it's broken but that's actually uh, like one piece so you can see that doesn't go through there that's all sculpted with the little lines and stuff and then you got the other side here with some nice cracks and everything that actually looks pretty cool I like how they did that um, the eyes look really nice uh, that's one part that I really love everything on it really does look pretty good you got like this little seat thing in the back you can see some stitching which looks pretty good uh, overall paint, paint detail is nice on it now if you'll state stay <laughs> if it if it'll stay there for a comparison here's the deluxe one uh and you can see just how big this really is it, he's threatening you guys i think but i mean you can see that there is a similarity to them. Obviously, this is much bigger and not really meant to scale with any of the uh, actual figures. I, I lift them because I know that he's going to move. So, uh, huge size difference between these two. But I don't mind it. And now, I mean, just for the heck of it, here's a Voyager figure. There's Optimus Prime. And, all right, again, yeah, do your thing. Yeah, that's, that's what he does. So, if you don't actually use the remote control, he goes into a three-minute just standby kind of mode this is the process of him turning off uh he'll just do this he'll talk he'll spin he'll dance around and stuff now this is where they say you're supposed to be able to and again you you just pulling out the instructions to show you this here um it says that you're supposed to be able to flip them upside down to turn them on and off uh you flip upside down to turn on off autobot squeaks will go into sleep if inactive for three minutes uh, and that's what he's basically doing so you're supposed to be able to go like this 180 degrees and that's supposed to turn him off he doesn't turn off so i don't know if that i i have no idea i'm gonna give him brain damage shaking baby syndrome or something from doing that so much but it doesn't turn him off it turns him on so when he finally goes into sleep mode because i haven't uh i don't believe i've turned this on and i think all you do to turn this on is push a button but uh if, if he'll go into sleep mode i'll be able to show you how to do that well it doesn't even really matter uh, but oh the other thing is uh, he does have some stabilizing wheels here so you got the big primary wheels here and then you got little clear wheels here that uh keeps them stable very very nicely you can see though when he does move he kind of shifts and then his little helmet moves which i like that that's kind of neat so might as well just do this turn this on this is him in dance mode um if he'll stay in dance mode pushing this button right here ah it keeps him in dance mode turn off turn off and then I i'm hoping there we go uh, and then to turn turn that off just hit one of these other buttons to kind of turn him off uh, he also does have blaster mode when he doesn't have his blaster activated though he, he just talks. 
and he says Chihuahua a lot, which it's very clear that he says Chihuahua in this. In the movie, it didn't really sound that clear. No, oh, it's just a random noise. Okay, so that's all that does. And then now for the gun, like I said, you've got this little section right here that when you actually push this, you can see it changes his eye colors, which is really cool. I, I like that. Uh, but you got a little notch in here that you take this and you will then, uh, I think that's, oh, maybe it goes this way. It locks that in. And when you lock that in, it actually changes his eyes to the uh, the gun thing so blue red like that and then you can like i said position this however you want what's cool though i'm going to set this no, you 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 shush i'm going to set him here you push that gun button mode now and you when you push it well he shoots and goes flying and he screams okay so again you can see i'm pushing not at him so it doesn't you you do really want to make sure that you're pointing it so That's really cool. I, I do like that he like shifts back because that was a, a thing from the movie where uh, he and, and I, I think the lights are affecting this little. So there, there's a couple different uh, gun things. <laughs> he laughs at you. And then again, dance mode. Oh, wait, but again. <laughs> I don't want them to go off the sides. Oh, that's cool. And then for just the regular control, again, push forward. He goes forward. Push back. And then left and right. And then obviously setting him all the way back here, you can then make him pushing that. Oh, wait, it's... My table's a little off center. Let's see here. Yeah, the the table itself is curved, so it has a little bit. He has a little bit harder for time. <laughs> but you can. Well, I got a whole bunch of junk here. So, uh, obviously, I'm gonna have to take this outside so that you guys can see the the full effect of him. And then you take it off, and he's in his regular mode again. <laughs> I guess that's our cue to uh, go and go outside. kind of talking about in terms of how he can drive and then go off to the side uh, now i did discover that you can't actually turn him off the thing is you hold him upside down and i think it's like for five seconds or something then his eyes will turn off 
and now he's actually turned off. But when you do shake him around, he will turn on again. One thing that I did notice uh, is that the tires here on the outside are rubber. These ones are hard plastic. So as you can see, driving around outside was a little problematic, mostly because of these. The, the cement was kind of disrupting that. If they made this a rubber tire, I think it would have had a much better effect in terms of driving around outside, much like they use the, the tires here. So again, put this on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so seven seconds or something like that. So I think that that would have been a better way to go and made him a little bit more of a versatile toy. But the instructions do say that he is meant for the indoors. So it's not something that is terribly bad, I don't think. But I really do like this guy. I think that he came out very nice. Uh, as I talked about, I do wish that some of these extra kind of cracks on his helmet were actual cracks and not just painted. It gives the illusion decently enough, but it, I think it just would have looked a little bit better. And again, like I said, I mean, you can see that it's like just splotched on there. So maybe Takara will come out with one. Who knows? Uh, now, this is a fairly pricey toy. It's $80. I picked it up at Toys R Us. So be that as it may, I mean, Toys R Us is usually a bit more expensive with their stuff anyhow. So I don't know if that's, you know, the full going rate for it. But I, I do really like it. I think he's fun. I think he's a nice display piece if you have, you know, kind of larger figures just randomly thrown out there. So ultimately, I, I, I do really recommend him. I think he's fairly well done, and I think that Hasbro r really nailed it with this. And then again, you just flip him over, upside down, that's sure turn him back on. So really a, a great, great piece. Absolutely, guys. If you have the money and this is something that you're in interested in, I would absolutely pick him up. I think he's well worth it. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Don't forget that if you like this video to please hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way towards helping me out, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. It's free, and you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video, and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. And as I've said before, if you don't, this little invisible bunny rabbit will die. So, <laughs> But if you're already subscribed, do me a real quick favor and click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And as always, until next time guys, this is Optibotomous. I'll talk to you later.